this video I'm going to be talking about freeze plugs uh, in a Texas block. So this block is getting ready to go to the machine shop and I like to take all the freeze plugs out or some call them casting plugs or expansion plugs. But the Texas block has 11 of them in there. Uh, that's just for the coolant. I take all of them out. I also take out the oil gallery plug. These are these can be different sizes depending on uh, if it's an early Texid or a later Texid. And it seems like a simple process, but there are two of them on the side, uh, one on each side that can be a little difficult to get out. These are the plugs that I prefer to put in there. They're inch and a half Dorman 565028 is a part number and they are brass and they have this longer sidewall on them uh, I like to use them for better engagement to the block so that you have less chance of them leaking. On the older Texans, they had this thin little metal tube coming out of here that just gets corroded all the time. If it doesn't have the thick one like this, uh, I'll bang those out and uh, replace those as well. On the back, it's got the larger plug for the oil gallery. Sometimes that size is on the front. Now I'm going to start with the front. So what I use is a, I use a big punch for the bigger ones and I just hit it on the side, not on the lip of it, but just on the side of it. And the idea is to get it to spin. Now that it's spun, I like to use channel locks, just kind of grab the lip of it and pry it out. I like to clean them up too with a little bit of 600 or 800 grit sandpaper. First, I hit it with some PB Blaster. Now, if you're just replacing a freeze plug, I put it on a socket. I'll put a thin coat of RTV around the lip of it and then just bang it in evenly with a hammer until it's uh, a little bit past flush uh, inside the block. Now I'll do the oil gallery plug. The reason why I like taking these out is when it goes to the machine shop, if these are out, the front and the rear, they can run a, a brush through there and uh, clean, clean out the oil gallery. Also, all the, the cleaning solution will get inside there. That's the same reason why I like taking all the freeze plugs out, because if there's anything gummed up in here, when it goes through the uh, hot tank, uh, it'll get in there and clean all that stuff out. So the same principle, you hit it on the side, try and get it to spin. If you don't have pliers small enough to get in there and grab the edge of it, you can take your punch, kind of stick it at an angle, and then tap it down. Now you can grab it with the pliers. So the same process on the side. I think it's this one that has like a lip on there, so you won't be able to get it down in there. So if you notice, this one's not going to go, this one's not going to spin. So what I do is I punch a hole through it, and I'm going to use my smaller punch that's got a point on it. Now I'm going to go up a little bigger, get the hole a little bigger. I'm going to see if I can't get my big punch in through there. Get out the punches in. And put some... PB blaster around it. Make sure you have your eye pro on. And now this is off to the side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bang on the side of this thing and use the block as leverage to kind of pop that, pop the plug up. So now with the punch in there, you hit it off to the side. You have to come up. I'm going to take out your drain plugs too, there's one on each side. When you're doing this you want to make sure uh, you don't want to hit the freeze plug on the inside of the cylinder. So be careful that if it actually hits it you want to be careful. So I'm going to try and pry this one up. On the passenger side I want to say it's this one that's got the lip so I'll see how that one comes out. Put a hole in it. Get some PB blaster on there. Now 
When you hear that pop like that, that means it, it loosened up. Now we can take the engine off the stand. Now we can do the two freeze plugs in the back and the oil gallery plug in the back. And this is the condition I like to take the engine to the machine shop. Only got the mains for one and five, that's so they can clamp it in the machines. Freeze plugs are removed, drain plugs removed. You want to remove your jack screws if your engine has it because I've heard of machine shops losing those. And if you're putting this on a two valve, it's a good idea to shave these blocks off too, these bungs down here before it goes to the machine shop because then they'll clean any of the shavings that might get somewhere out. And when you go to the machine shop, drop your engine off. Uh, if you're going to have it balanced, which you should, uh, if you put replacing any of the parts in there, you're going to need the crank, the rods, the pistons, the rod bearings, and the piston rings. And what they'll do is uh, the machine shop will make all these the same weight and then drill the counterweights or add weights onto the crankshaft to make it all balanced.